So hola, we're here in Magdala. We're uh, spending four weeks here to warm up from the Minnesota snow and ice. So we're going to go on a bike ride. We did this ride a couple days ago. It's a real fun one out to uh, Rincon de la Victoria. Just go along the beaches to the east of town along the Mediterranean. So it's a beautiful ride. Come join us. Riding here through the port of Malaga. Shops and uh, restaurant area along here can be pretty crowded. It's kind of cool today. It's supposed to get up to 64, so we'll see. We decided to go out to the cruise ship terminal, and that gives you beautiful views of the beaches and the city. Biking along the famous Malagueta Beach in Malaga. We like to go there and soak up the sun and also enjoy some sardines that they grill on the beach for you. So now we're on the official, I think, bike path here along the promenade or the beach promenade. Well, we're coming up on our first town here. I don't know the name of it, but bikes aren't allowed on the uh, promenade on the beach. So we're gonna go through town on the street. It's pretty, pretty good, 30 kilometers per hour and the preference for scooters and bicycles in the right lane. The signage was a little unclear, so we decided to go ahead and bike on the boardwalk. There wasn't many people and there were other bikers. We found out the next time we rode in this section right here from some police officers that you cannot ride your bike on this boardwalk. Now, this is probably the worst segment of all. Little walking area there, you could probably push your bike through there, but you're right on the road. Okay, this section's a little confusing, but you just stay on the road or get on the sidewalk, whatever you can do here. And then you'll hook up the path at the top of the hill there. Yeah, waves are crashing onto the bike path last time we did this ride. You gotta come down on the beach over here. We were uh, lightly told by a couple of police officers that we couldn't ride on the uh, promenade there, so. But it's a nice packed path down here on the beach. So you come off the beach onto a bike path here to go through the tunnels. So I'll end up going through three tunnels. Not real long. So I'm guessing that means this is an old rails, the trail that we're going through here. These tunnels are part of a train system that went from Malaga to the east about 30 kilometers along the beach, known as La Cochinita. Now 
Now last time we came through I thought this was just a bar out there, but it looks like more of a, a shrine or something like that. So we'll come check it out. So Julie said it's the Virgin of Carmen. This is Rincon de la Victoria. We're gonna go a little bit further maybe here. This is where we turned around last time. So I think we can go maybe a mile further along here. We'll, we'll find out. So we're gonna turn around here. Uh, we probably go a little bit further, but the wind and stuff and then the road isn't too good it's getting to be soft sand so we're gonna head back well as you can tell from the flag and the flying dirt the wind has really come up though I don't think it was supposed to be this windy today unfortunately it's gonna be in our face all the way back so Still windy. I think it's going to be bad all the way back. So anyway, we stop for that snack and uh, we're going for a bit, then we'll stop again. Take it in chunks. Well, in this section, we've gone on that uh, cobblestone, and then you can ride to the right. I've seen people do it. It's hard pack, so it's actually better. Well, the last of our tunnels, we're enjoying a little break from the wind here. Well, instead of getting on the road here, we're just going to push our bikes along this little walking path. So we rented bikes at the uh, Malaga Bike Tours, or Bike Tours Malaga. And we like these. They're city bikes, but they have a internal hub on the back with seven gears. So works good. Front shocks actually kind of useful on this and wider tires. So they're nice, comfortable bikes and worked real well. And they're 15 euros for the day is what we're paying. We're going to keep going. If we find a restaurant that's caught or out of the wind, we might stop and get a beer and a salad or something. Otherwise, we'll probably go all the way back to the edge of Malaga. Now, I think we find a winner here. We'll just uh, stop here. On the way back, we skipped the harbor and took the path past the bullfighting ring and through the city, the nice paths of Malaga that we learned about on our city bike tour.
Well, we're back. I think it's probably about 22 miles, and uh, boy, the wind was fierce, but we, we made it through. Stopping for lunch was great. Just beautiful out there on the Mediterranean. So if you're in Malaga ever, just go to the east, get some bikes, rent them, go out to the east. It's a beautiful ride, nice and flat. Till our next bike adventure, we'll see ya. So we're about a week later, and there's no wind. We're gonna go all the way to the uh, far east as we can go. I think we're getting close to the end of it. It's actually a pretty nice little trail. It's much more um, rugged and remote. I like it. I think we're towards the end of the uh, trail as far as you go in Rincon de la Victoria. It's actually really nice out here. So the other day we got chased back by the wind, but this today is nice and calm and beautiful. We really enjoyed riding along the beaches in Malaga. You can either go to the east or the west. My preference would be to the east. It's a little more natural, but of course the uh, trail isn't quite as good. But both have their redeeming qualities and nice to check out both of them. If you're in the Malaga area, just rent some bikes and head east or head west and follow our routes. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.